pretty view. I like to imagine what my ancestors would say if they could see what we built. How we flourished in spite of everything. Here's hoping the rest of us follow your example. If all humans are like you, I have no doubt you'll thrive. I've been studying those artifacts you recovered. What I found was incredible. Our history is much shorter than we previously thought. Less than a millennium. It's as though we suddenly sprang into being a fully formed civilization. Now we know the Jardan created your people. But what if they also engineered our culture, gave us traditions and beliefs we've carried forward? Until we understand our past, we can't decide our future. What you found could affect generations to come. I can't imagine getting here without you, Ryder. The discoveries you make impact all of us now. I'm just here to help. We're lucky you found us, then. What's next for you? Keep looking for answers. Try my best to recover our history. All of it. You'll get there. Of course we will. We have you on our side. Rider. Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight.
It's stuff like this that makes everything worthwhile. Those are the coordinates we were sent. And that message about the Solarian Ark? Someone will be waiting, one way or another. Damn it! Bad guys!
Guess this was all a ruse. <laughs> Let's look around. They might have left something. From their gear, they were hoping to capture someone. Probably me. Sorry about that. Though, if you'd broken a sweat, I'd be sorrier. You sent us the message about the Solarian Ark? Yes. Major Salen Vaughn, STG. Retired, of course. What's STG? Special Tasks Group. Back home, we were field agents who gathered intelligence and handled... inconveniences. By any means necessary. Even assassination. If you prefer. As I said, these days, I stick with retiree. Espionage is a job that follows you home. Or across galaxies. Until there's nothing for it but to grow a conscience. Let's be frank. There are too many inconsistencies aboard our Ark. They only make sense if someone betrayed us to the Ket. My best suspect is a biologist, Dr. Adden. But the evidence is thin. I need a pathfinder to verify what I've found, or I risk arresting an innocent man. Who's Adden? Why would he betray his Ark? An ex-military biologist from the early wake-up team on our Ark. He claims to be studying the Ket. As for why, I intend to ask him. Couldn't Reka help you solve this? I trust Reka implicitly, but I can't say the same for her team. You are obviously trustworthy. If you were involved, you wouldn't have saved our Ark in the first place. All right, I'm in. How do we catch your traitor? I only have two leads left. Dr. Adden's equipment and a cat who might be his handler. I need you and your Sam to analyze them. If we show Dr. Adden's in regular contact with a cat, that would prove he's the one. What's the standard punishment for cat collaborators? Most people would settle for an angry mob, but I like to think justice made the trip out here. Uh, remember Dr. Adden's equipment and his cat contact. This has to be watertight. Good luck. Rider. approach. Vold orbit is steady. Approaching the LZ.
Did I hear that right back there? You table danced in Omega? That was one job. One. Somehow it ended up being me watching the floor and providing distraction. Dancing's one of your many talents, then. Shit, no. I tripped over myself 30 seconds in, accidentally ripped out of Volus's breather trying to break my fall. He started choking, launched himself backwards into a bunch of Batarian mercs, and then the fists were out. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. The fight lasted two days. Worked out, though. Took them a week to sort everything out, and by then we were smoke. Gotta hand it to these Angara. They're tough. That's Techix, according to my map. This must be Dr. Adden's workspace, the one the STG agent is investigating. This equipment has been sterilized with a standard radioisotope. There are trace elements of biomaterial that could be consistent with exaltation pods. Or they could be leftovers from Adden's experiments. We should look into the lead about the cat handler. I'm reading a temperature decrease. Whoa, look out! Huh? What was that for? Just making sure we're still awake. Anything here that isn't freezing? Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface.
Let's get a scam. Let's do this! G agent was right. This cat was Dr. Adams' contact. Let's get a scan. This cat has a Milky Way comm device implanted. Particle vibration on the transmitter resembles Solarian encryptions. Resembles doesn't prove much. The cat could have found the implant on the Solarian Ark. The best leads on Adam's betrayal, and they're both circumstantial. Can't hang him for that. We could head to the Nexus and ask Reiko about this. Maybe she knows something. Orbit is steady. What's up? Nothing. Just thought I'd look up my girl. Your 
girl. Are you saying you aren't? This is very upsetting. No, Ryder. Anyway, I'm just taking a breather out here. Ready to go when you are. It's such a mess. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Handle one thing at a time. I filed a complaint with Tan. That'll show him. Construction and repairs continue on various parts of the Nexus. Authorities have no word on completion and remind visitors to avoid affected areas. This is HNS. Have a seat. So afterwards, the cat got twitchy. Took me a while to get back. The idea of Solarians figuring out exaltation must keep them up at night. Oh, I hope so. So you're finding out the cat's dirty exaltation secrets? That's the plan. Your star maps were helpful, by the way. You're welcome. Between us charting the Scourge and Ryder's vault data, the cat will run out of bolt holes. I'll send you our latest. I'll take a copy as well. Anything to expand the search grid. Still hunting down the stasis pods. And finding them. Having a partner AI makes one hell of a difference. I guess I need to train a successor. And figure out how to prepare them. Better to find your wings as you fly. Worked for us, didn't it? There's only one way to find out what kind of Pathfinder you are. Huh. <laughs> guess so. In the meantime, we've a serious matter to deal with. The first vintage bottled in Andromeda. Sent as a gift. A well, good thing I brought my flask. Damn, that smells good. Since we've got a moment to ourselves, shall we toast? To the great adventure, and all the mysteries waiting for us. Attention, civil disobedience has been reported in hydroponics. Security is investigating. Ryder, always a pleasure. I hear you're assisting Major Salem Varn's investigation into Dr. Adden. You know Salem? I met him once or twice. A remarkable agent, despite his age. Unfortunately, my attempts to aid him have stalled. What do you make of Salen's theory that someone betrayed your people? It seems monstrous, but the more I consider it, the more the facts seem to fit. I've tried enlisting ARC leadership, those who woke first, but they've been busy, unhelpful, or both. Perhaps we should get... creative. Hey, if we don't break the rules... Who will? One of the ARC officers who woke early, Rand Lawn, has an apartment here. If he's too busy to help, you could scan around, carefully, see what you can find. I know Cirrus has been dropping in at Pathfinder HQ, it's just... I'm not good with everything yet. Sounds like our experience was a picnic compared to what the Solarians went through. Rake is determined to put an end to exaltation, and she'll have every bullet I can lend her. Cora really idolized you. Have you spoken since? Awkwardly. She's angry, but trying to understand. But we do speak, and more importantly, listen. Reminds me of the days when I had students. I never knew Matriarch Ashara, the last Asari Pathfinder. What was she like? The best my people have to offer. Powerful, just, diplomatic. I was a dowdy soldier by comparison. I tell myself she'd understand why I... But she didn't think that way. Diplomacy allows compromise. War doesn't. Now that the Asari Ark is safe, what's next for you? I'll be tracking the cat through their secret routes in the Scourge and burning them out. Charting the Scourge will help everyone. Some incidental revenge is a bonus. Cora said you fought plenty of battles, that you were the hero of Kirkus. Ha. I survived Kirkus, anyway. What happened? The enemy fired artillery at civilian targets. I used my biotics to shield part of a city. 
I can make a good shield, as you've seen. I lost dear friends in that battle, but we saved a lot of people. That makes me a hero. I'll take it. Good luck, Sarissa. Thank you. I'll need it. Colonial Affairs, please advise Director Tan of your status. So it's official? You're part of our little club? I know I was reluctant, but it was the right call. Thanks for the push. Anytime. I love pushing people around. <laughs> so I hear. From who? Everyone. Any luck finding other survivors from Natanis? Brought in another batch yesterday. Still too many unaccounted for, but we're getting there. I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Ryder. Appreciate it. How's life on the Nexus treating you? Running water and rations. It's a beautiful thing. I can tell people are still shook up from the uprising, but compared to Havaro, things almost feel normal. How have you been since HO47C? Fine, I'm fine. If you ever want to talk about Mason, you know where to find me. Thanks, Ryder. Really, I'm just... not ready. So, how are you finding the new post? Not used to having people question my actions, but I like the challenge. More than I thought I would. Any regrets? Uh, my only regret is that Mason isn't here to see me play diplomat with Tan. Back in the Milky Way, I would have punched sense into that worm. Now, I use my words. I'm a changed man. Pathfinder versus Spectre. How does it compare? They're completely different beasts. As a Spectre, I worked in the shadows. Intel was on a need-to-know basis. Here, everyone's looking to me. Looking to me. It's all out in the open. Which do you prefer? Being a Spectre was easier, but being a Pathfinder is more rewarding. Good seeing you, Avidus. Stay safe out there. Ah, Ryder, my hero. We Solarians have a tough road ahead. It's hard to wake up to such loss. But we are not the first, just one of many. Is there anything on your mind? How are your people adjusting to life here? We are resilient. Our lifespan is short, so we have a built-in drive to maximize every minute. Many of us are getting to the business of bolstering our numbers and looking for opportunities to settle worlds. I have a few select teams looking into the Ket. The better we know the enemy, the more prepared we'll be for whatever they throw at us next. How did you get involved with the initiative? My claim to fame in the Milky Way was that I found a way to restore the biodiversity of my homeworld. For decades we knew that the planet would soon be unable to sustain us, so I was something of a hero. My work caught your father's attention and he... How shall I say? Laid on the charm to enlist me for the initiative. Oh yeah? Your father could be very charming when he wished. What can you tell me about my father? He was a friend. And what he shared with me was shared in confidence. But I can tell you... The Alec Rider he showed to the world was but a sliver of the whole. He felt that to lead, he must project utter confidence. With me, he shared his fears and doubts, or at least a few of them. I considered that a great compliment. What is it you strive for? For you, I mean. For me? All I've ever wanted is clarity. I devote much of my time looking in the mirror, trying to understand myself. Some might find it narcissistic, but in knowing myself, I can be true in the moment, with little self-interrogation. Ultimately, the motivation is to live a life free of regret. I have come close, thus far. Is Captain Hager doing well? Hager is training to be my successor, if or when the need arises. We lost so many of our leaders during our captivity. It's left several roles open to fill. Hager is a dedicated officer. The sky's the limit for him. He'd make a strong Pathfinder. It's good to have a line of succession planned out. I want Hager fully aware of what the future may hold. The better prepared he is, the smoother the transition. Nice talking with you, Reka. I am at your disposal, Ryder. Hard part 
I talk to my family every day. They can't believe half of what I tell them. Sure glad I went to school for this. Thanks for not getting out. A ray of hope for plants are transmitted or carnivorous. Most humans get eaten alive. Contact is born. This is HNS. Locked. I may be able to hack this, Pathfinder. We're in. Definitely the apartment Reka mentioned. It's been watered recently. A single fiber is caught on a leaf. It shows traces of novetamine. A drug? A neurodepressant reported in some Andromeda wildlife. This plant is not one of them. Password protected. Little help, Sam? Accessing. It contains financial and personnel reports. However, the EM signature suggests data was recently cleaned. Freshly vacuumed. Traces of dust still remain. Based on the scourge radiation count, they came from a remote world. So Rand Lon, or someone in his apartment, went exploring out there. Okay, something's fishy. Sam, can you work out which planet the dust on the floor came from? I have a candidate. No record of any official visit. Once in orbit, I can approximate a nav point. What are you doing in my apartment? You must be Rand Lon. Yes. You're the one who saved our Ark. What are you doing here? I'm conducting an investigation about the Solarian Ark. I wanted to check a few things. Ah, I did hear about this. I was too busy to assist. I suppose I'll have to make the time. What do you need? First, explain why your console's been scrubbed, and why there's traces of a neurodepressant in here. Probably because I visited the labs and I suffered a power surge. Shall I also explain my heart medication? My clan ornaments? You sound just like... Oh, wait. Did you get roped into another of Salen Varn's crusades? What do you mean? No, I won't spread rumors. You can go, but I wouldn't break into any more homes on Salen's advice. If I've been misled, I should hear these rumors. The Major is brilliant, but he's just been in STG too long. He's been bothering us with conspiracies since he woke up. It's common in retired agents. They can't navigate a world without espionage. I see. Look, let's forget this happened. For the Major's sake. Goodbye, Pathfinder. Still got that planet identified, Sam? Yes, Pathfinder. The Angara are survivors, and they're willing to help. They'll be great allies. I talk to my family every day. They can't believe half of what I tell them. This is not what I signed up for. First child born to a Milky Way species.
Rider. We're on course. Tracking a remnant architect. things be all right with your family after what happened at the forge there are ways to forgive any mistake if you want to i won't drink down the same poisons Atsul did good for you resources in this area are limited Seen my plans. Hmm. I'm beginning to suspect that the Angaran word for fun doesn't translate well.
Pathfinder. These are the approximate coordinates extrapolated from the Solarian apartment. It appears empty. There's sand traps all over. Let's look under the surface. Something was here, then dragged that way. Scavengers. Might be trouble. The trail leads right to them. Let's get him back on his feet. Salen, what happened to you? Salen? <laughs> Very familiar for our first real meeting. You're sure he's okay? I contacted you, hoping one of my suspects would do something reckless, and unfortunately, he did. I imagine I was supposed to vanish out here while he used my cloak device. Any Salen you met was Dr. Adden in disguise. Wait, you... He asked me to analyze leads that could implicate him. Let me guess. Adden asked you to scan those leads. I suspected the traitor was hiding messages on optical encoders. Those messages were the real proof I needed, but a powerful scanner like yours would wipe them. You hadn't used you and uh, my investigation to cover his tracks, canny bastard. I examined the department belonging to a Solarian officer, Rand Lon. The clues there led me to you. Interesting. That confirms my suspicions. Everything comes back to our arc. Adam didn't have the clearance to alter logs or affect the NAV computer, yet he's obviously guilty. I suspect Adam is the front man for a conspiracy involving the cat. He's the key to blowing it open. Right. Except Adam got rid of anything we had on him. And I'll bet Rand Lon has disappeared. Adam. Ah! He forgot the dart he poisoned me with. Still in there, with the ballistics intact. Contact Adam, feign ignorance, and ask for a meeting. I'll be there to arrest him. We'd need somewhere to meet Adam. Somewhere neutral. There are caves on Kadara that might be suitable. Send the word.
No orbiting Kadara. PB have biotics. Hmm. What does it feel like? Does it hurt? When you really let loose, it's like a massive, deadly sneeze. Oh, amazing. What's a sneeze? There you are. Did you investigate those leads? I learned you're a cat collaborator and a murderer. Who's one victim short? Oh, so it's true. Old spies really do live forever. This old spy would punch you if he wasn't <clears throat> carrying evidence in his chest. I tried to give you a decent burial, Major. There was no time to convince you of our cause. Save it, Adden. You betrayed your people. You'll never see daylight again. My people agreed to this. Several of us woke early, prepped the Ark, and then we found the Ket, an unstoppable enemy. So we made a pact. Sacrifice our Ark to the Ket and learn their secrets, so one day we could destroy them along with their exaltation. You pretended to be Ket allies so you could study them, then stab them in the back? Listen, there is an empire of Ket beyond Helios. All powerful conquerors who will invade us eventually. The secrets we learn could stop our extinction before it begins. Give us our freedom, and they're yours. Don't let this go to waste. What exactly are you offering? The intricacies of the Ket Empire. Vassals, potential weak points, exaltation secrets. Which we can't confirm. And you could have pulled out of your cloaca. We had to sacrifice civilians for this, Major. Will you let that be for nothing? You're despicable. But if your secrets could save us, teach us to fight exaltation? Deal. No secrets are worth kneeling to the Ket. The hell with that! He, uh, he gave them our Ark! And we saved it. We're vulnerable. We can't afford to lose any advantage. If you trust Adam, you deserve everything you get. If I see him again, you have to ID him by his teeth. I'll transfer my intel to you immediately. My life is entirely in your hands. Thank you for your foresight. You don't know how many lives you'll save. <laughs> 